Hi everyone, this is Sheila. It's March the 28th, 2024 and I'm just going to do some recordings that I did back in 2007, 17 years ago when I had my first visit to Ifrakum in Devon, tracing the ancestors of my daughter Zara, whose grandmother was a Barbary. And the Barbaries married into the Loverings. So we're starting the Devonshire ancestry of Zara by my first visit down to Ifrakum. I do visit lots of other villages surrounding Ifrakum as well and they will also be shown. These are my early audio pods. Quite a common thing now for people to listen to. Um, what I did, I all my audio pods were actually put on Ancestry where I've got my family tree and they're put in the gallery there under audio but now I'm adding web links to the Ancestry profile of people where they can see this they can hear the audio and also see images which are often put at random the images don't necessarily link up with what I'm saying but they're a background just to make it a bit more interesting sometimes I do try and link the photos to the actual grave when I'm doing it so I sometimes edit and put place a, a picture in so you know it's quite a task I'm doing um, of course since 2007 I've had various excellent video cameras so I've progressed from the handheld cassette tape recorder where I would scan graves go around talking into this little handset with micro tapes and then I would add photos, which is what I'm doing, adding images to the um, video and then creating web links via YouTube and placing these under different people in the family tree. Um, so this is, this is what I'm doing. So I did at Cornwall the other day, where, where the Barbaries from Ifrakum go back to um, they're very Cornish. Then they marry into the Loverings of Ifra Coombe and Coombe Martin. So Coombe Martin I will be doing separately. So here we have a number of um, images. Some of my daughter Zara, like now, this is a picture of Zara. Her grandmother was Marion Barbary, um, whose father was born in Ifra Coombe, but moved to London, to Richmond. But her, um, Sarah's great, great grandfather was William Henry Barbary, who lived in Ifrakum and married Mary Ann Lovering. And they had a number of children, including quite a, a prominent member of the community called Nicholas Barbary, who had, I think, two or three wives. He also had lots of children. He had, um, bravery awards. He had many sons who went into the services during the World Wars. And he lived quite a long time, I think, to 1957. And he did have a really nice portrait of him in one of the hotels. I've seen, I've seen it personally myself once. Uh, that has apparently since disappeared, so whether the family have got it now, I don't know. But it was a really good portrait and a classic image of a seafaring man. Lots of the Barbaries and Loverins belong to the lifeboat community, out saving people. Um, they were all tied up with the sea one way or another. So this is quite a rich Devonshire ancestry for my daughter Zara. And she's got other siblings from another, um, m uh, from, from other, she's got half siblings. Her father uh, married somebody else and had three other children um, and of course Sarah stayed with me and I've got three other children as well but I do all those trees separately I've got a very rich tree myself going back um, a thousand years easily and Sarah obviously inherits all that as well so there's a quite a lot to do and it's a, quite a passion of mine um, I've been all over the UK in my camper van tracing the ancestors, walking in their footsteps, visiting villages, towns, cities, castles, cathedrals, everywhere, 
hunting for the ancestors and verifying and looking for the information. I've been doing this for about 30 years now. I also provided quite a bit of information to the Ifraku Museum. I used to update them. I haven't done for quite a while now, but they used to allow me into their archives um, to get information like photos and things like that. Um, so that's quite a good resource. And I hope one day to visit again because I haven't been back since 2008 and it's that 16 years ago. I'm not, I haven't got any wheels at the moment, so I can't quite get down there. There's no train, as we know, to Ifrakum anymore. That was a big pity when they stopped that train service. Um, that was one of the things a lot of people remember the, the, the steam trains that went to Ifrakum. Like all over the country, the trains were stopped. Anyway, we're starting off this particular video with Holy Trinity Church, where I'm wandering around the graveyard recording the graves, finding the ancestors of Zara, the Barbaries and the Loverings, and other associated names via marriage. There's lots of information about these families. They're, they were recorded in newspapers through various um, dis disasters where boats have crashed. They've been out and saved boats. Um, they're quite prominent in the community and still are today, the Barbary family still run fishing trips and things like that in boats. Uh, quite a few of them still live locally. So anyway, I'm going to stop this particular part of the narration now and then I'm going to add the actual audio part. So over and out for a minute. Right, here we go then. We're in Ifrakum. I'm rambling on a bit and I end up getting to the Holy Trinity Church where the Zara's um, great great grandfather is buried William Henry Barbary and um, others like great 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 um, Nicholas Lovering and lots of other relatives so here we go back to the tape 2007 in Devon Brian. I 
I do, of course, have other visits to Ifrakum, and I visit that churchyard <coughs> with Zara on one occasion. And I actually go back there another time on my own to do a lot more recording. And that was to be found on other um, <coughs> audio pods, which I am doing. <coughs> Over and out for now. <coughs> 